Okay, so, first of all, happy Monday. Good morning. Let's take the time out to say thank you, Lord, for waking all us up today and, you know, starting us on our way because some people just didn't make it. And even for the people who didn't make it, we still say thank you, Lord. You know what I'm saying? We still give God thanks and everything that he do. You know, regardless if we feel it's right or not, we still just say thank you, Lord. You know, because it's just something you just have to do. Okay, now, let's get into this. Oh, and I want to say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, his daughter, his family, the other families that got hurt on the plane. Rest in peace to these people. To be asked in front of the body is to be present with the Lord. He did a lot of good things in life, so you already know where he at. You know what I'm saying? He transitioned on to a better place, so he's still flying high. Um, and for the other families, I feel bad for them. You know, even though they're not Kobe Bryant, <clears throat> they're, they still have, they still, it's someone's mother. It was still someone's father. It was still somebody's sister. You know what I'm saying? It's sad that everybody died, you know? Okay. Now, rest in peace to those people. Now I'm about to go to something else. Now, I, it was a blessing that I was able to meet Oprah the other day. It was a blessing. It was a blessing to meet you guys, too. It's a blessing to meet all of you all who I've met in real life. That's a blessing, too. Okay? They were still they were still souls. That's all I'm saying. So they all deserve the same kind of... That's the thing we do in life these days. It's like we put people on pedestals and... God just let you know that it don't matter how much money you got, what you got going on. When he ready for you, he going to get you. So that, that was something that was deep. I don't know if a lot of y'all picked up on that. <clears throat> um, me meeting Oprah was a good thing. It was cute. Like I met Oprah. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy about that. And um, I spoke that in my life like wanting to meet. I've been wanting to meet Oprah all my life. You know, all of us have. Come on now. She's Oprah. Everybody on this live wanted to meet Oprah. I want to meet Oprah. I want to just tell her, hey, right? Because of the accomplishments that she's made in life, right? So, I didn't want to meet Oprah because she's... I wanted to meet Oprah because of her accomplishments that she's made in life. That was always my dream to meet her because I'm like, whoa, this lady, you know, who came from, you know, back then slavery was still kind of going on in some places. And, you know, like she said, her grandmother was a maid and that's not what she wanted to be in her life. Like, I've watched a lot of documentaries about Oprah. She has this whole book, like... Telling people about her life, a book, and she has like these these DVDs. You can watch the DVDs, and she tell you about what's going on. What? But um, the biggest thing in my life and in your life that you should try to strive to be is great. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to be the best you, trying to be the best you, not because of what somebody else have or what somebody else got going on. We have to learn how to focus this shit into us. You know what I'm trying to say? Like we be so hyped up on the wrong shit. You know, it was good to meet Oprah. I met Oprah. You know, I went to her show. My friend Bobby took me to the show. It was a blessing. Um, we went backstage. I stood in the line just like everybody else, and we took a picture. You know what I'm saying? I, You know, it doesn't matter who you would rather meet. I told you who I'd rather meet. You know what I'm saying? And I would love to meet Michelle Obama, too. It was, it's, It is what it is. But at the same time, I can't wait to meet God. You know? Okay, okay, I already done met him. I talk to him all the time. I'm just saying, when I'm on my way over there, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait because what I'm coming on here to let y'all know is we are all flesh. You know what I'm saying? We are all flesh. And it's all on you. I'm not, Oprah don't hate black people, but black people can be ignorant, you know? I don't mean to be funny, but black folk can be ignorant. They just can, and you only being disrespectful to this lady. I don't. I don't really think that she cares. Um, I don't really think that she cares that you say fuck her. She don't care. So you on my lie doing it. I mean, just let it go because she don't give a damn. Um, I just want y'all to know that we kind of be worshiping the wrong things. I don't worship Oprah. I'm happy that I got to meet her. But my point that I was just trying to tell you is, I stood in line like everybody else. And when I met her, I just told her, you know, girl, I've been looking for you forever. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful that I finally found you. We hugged, we took a picture, and we kept it moving. Because people don't be really want people all in their face aggravating them like that. It can be very overwhelming when you're somewhere and you just keep... Ah, 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 ah. You understand me? That'll make somebody so aggravated. Those people are human just like me and you. They go through pains. You know what I'm saying? They go through ups. Downs, all that, just like me and you. But one thing Oprah did teach in her class was about being still. A lot of us 
Oh, girl, you you upset. A lot of us don't know how to be still. Being still means when you get up in the morning, just be still. Don't get up and pick up your phone. Just be still. You know what I'm saying? Be still and try to accept a word from God. Because if you're always moving around and you're always so busy and doing all this stuff and doing this and that, you can't be still to get a word from God. And sometimes that's what, you know, that's what we need. You know what I'm saying? We we need to be still. And I'm just telling y'all something that I learned her in, in her seminar. A lot of y'all should go to her seminar because it wasn't just about me. Oprah. Oprah was telling people about themselves, like how you can become a better yourself. Like, hey, I've been through hell and back. And let me tell you some of my testimonies. You know? That's how she was telling you testimonies of her life. How her life ain't always been peaches and cream. And how she dealt with, you know what I'm saying? Her weight and how she dealt with how people talked about her and all this stuff. But she overcame. And here she is today. And she's one of the richest women in the world. Um, it's sad that they I was just on here talking about Kobe, y'all, and I feel sorry about Kobe. I feel bad about it. But what is it that we can do about it? God made his call, and that was God's call. If God didn't want that plane to crash, it wouldn't have crashed. I feel bad, but Kobe came here, and Kobe did what Kobe had to do. You know, Kobe did what he had to do. He put a stamp in his world. We will always know Kobe Bryant. We'll never forget him. Because of the things that he's done in this world. Me, I'm not a big basketball player fan. But I can remember when I went to Monica's wedding, I actually um, met Kobe Bryant's wife. Yes, I did. I met her at Monica's wedding. This was many, many years ago. Um, but other than that, like I said, I feel sorry for them. I pray that God give his wife all the strength she needs and more. And, and his other kids and, you know, his sisters and his mama, his daddy. And for the other families that was involved, I pray the same thing for them. You know? So, it just is what it is. You know? And a lot of y'all people be asking people about money and shit like that. People don't be wanting to give y'all their motherfucking money they don't work hard for. That's another thing they like to talk about. Go out here and be up. Everybody have, we all have a purpose here in the world. We all have a purpose. Whether you the boss, whether you the helpmate to the boss, whether you the helpmate to the boss, boss, boss. You know what I'm saying? We all got a purpose. I don't be understanding some of y'all, but we all got a purpose. And maybe that was COVID purpose. To come here, to play basketball, do his thing, make y'all smile, make y'all happy. And now God got a bigger purpose for him because God wanted to make home next to him. So I'm sure he's going to be in, um, in heaven playing the hell out of him some basketball, okay? <laughs> Believe that. Let me see what's wrong with you. A lot of hurt-ass people. I wanted to go live with you, girl. Just because of what you're saying. You act like you need some attention. And you decline. Why you decline, sister? You need some love. You sitting up here telling me I fuck this woman. Do you know this woman don't give a fuck if you fuck with her or not? I mean, it could be a hundred thousand of y'all on here telling me I fuck her. She don't care. She don't. What's up, Willie? She don't care. Oprah don't care. So you keep sitting up here saying, fuck her and all this. Thing. You make yourself look stupid. And on top of that, it's a lot, a lot of energy on that. You know, it's a lot of energy on saying, fuck her. It's like a lot of energy. And you keep talking, but you don't want to come live with me. Okay. It's so much negative, negative energy. But, you know, I feel like the world on the way to the end. Anyway, a lot of y'all better get y'all goddamn life right. You ask me? That's what I feel. I could be wrong. But a lot of y'all need to get y'all life in order, baby. Because, honey, let me tell you something. I've been living 35 years, and I've been seeing stuff that's been going on. But, baby, how our world moving right now, it said it's all-time high. It said the all-time high. It ain't nothing about it nice. Ain't nothing about this nice. Y'all better get y'all life in order. I be telling y'all that all the time. A lot of y'all so evil and mad, upset, don't know how to be happy. That's a goddamn shame. And you get on Instagram to release your problems. Yeah, you need to get on your knees and release your problems. Ain't no way in the hell you supposed to be this upset on the Monday morning when God probably done blessed you. 
You know he done blessed you. You got a damn phone where you can come get on Instagram and watch me. Not to watch me, but I'm saying that you have your cell phone. Everybody act like they need their cell phone these days. So the fact that you got your cell phone and your cell phone be a pay, that alone, you should be happy. You see what I'm saying? Girl, you better go get on your knees. Because, baby, a lot of y'all folks need to go hit y'all knees. Y'all should have hit y'all knees last week. And you better understand, I don't care about what y'all be saying about me. I don't go cry. I don't go lose no sleep or none of that shit. I might go eat another cheeseburger because I want to. But it ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with y'all. <laughs> so y'all folks better get y'all shit together. I'm telling you, get it together now. Because you might not have tomorrow to get it together. You might not. Shit, God, you might not have that chance to get it together. You being so evil and shit, and you might fuck around and just lose your life right there just being evil. And then your last, your last, the last thing you got on earth to say was, damn, I was evil. Damn. So you're going to be resting until judgment day come, and then when judgment day come, you know, you might get judged for that. But you ain't even, you know, and then you probably need to receive Jesus in your life. I feel sorry for a lot of y'all who ain't received Jesus in your life. Mm. I feel sorry for you. So God going to look at you, and he going to ask you, you know. He going to really ask you. And I know a lot of y'all don't want to, don't believe it, any. You all have your own you know, y'all own things that y'all go through and y'all own beliefs. I get that, but I, you know, it's enough for me to believe, honey. Stop. Mary got pregnant with no dick. It ain't no way. Oh, and I smoke weed, y'all. I want everybody to know I smoke weed. I smoke weed, okay? And I smoke weed and I talk about God, too. You can call it what you want. I do that. I be smoking and I talk about God and I talk about all kind of shit while I'm smoking my weed. I'm at home in the comfort of my own place. I'm not fucking with nobody. But I'm letting y'all know today I smoke weed and I talk about God. And I could sometimes. Hell, when I want to go have sex again, I might go do that too. You know, because I'm not perfect. And I'm not the person that you need to be looking up to. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I just want to let you know. Yeah, I be saying, how she talking about God and she smoking? Because I do. It is what it is. A lot of y'all folk doing way worse than shit than that. Just, just have, not having a pure heart, child, is, is worse than smoking weed. Not having a pure heart is worse than smoking weed. Not knowing how to love. That's worse than smoking weed. A lot of y'all folk don't even know how to love, okay? Huh. At least I know how to love. At least I know how to forgive. Mm. How many y'all still don't know how to forgive? Holding on to shit that happened to you when you was a child. You know, holding on to what your mom and your daddy did. You know. I was just wondering how many, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. But when you're a child of God, you don't die. You keep going. This is what I want to let y'all know. Okay, who want to go live with me before I get out of life? <coughs> <coughs> shit. Now. Yeah. We had me coughing a little bit. You ain't got to wait. I'm a smoke my blood, and I got a preacher. So I'm not studying this shit. I I'm not a preacher. I ain't been to preacher school. And even if the preacher chose to smoke a joint, the preacher ain't perfect. The fuck me right. The preacher ain't perfect. Shit. Y'all be tripping. It ain't right, but he ain't perfect. Preacher gonna get us some ass on the side. He ain't perfect. He died daily to his flesh, too. And who the hell are we to judge them? We got shit we dealing with, too. Get out of here. You better stop. When you go to church, you better listen to the word. God punish you for going to church looking at the preacher. You know what I'm saying? Up there judging the preacher. Worry about what the preacher got going on. You better worry about your own salvation and what you got going on and how you can get delivered. Because shit out here hard. And so, Liz, okay, come on, y'all.